Archaeologists have long been amazed at an ancient solar calendar located in the country's western desert plains. At 2,300 years old, Chankilo Observatory has been described as one of the oldest of its kind in the world, and the oldest in the Americas. It is a construction of 13 stone towers built atop a hill, and was once used as a calendar. Only this summer was Shankillo designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. An ancient Peruvian civilization built it around two millennia before the ascent of another well-known and now famous sun cult, the Incas. It is believed that they completed it at some point between 250 BC and 200 BC. According to recent studies of Shankillo, the ancient peoples who used it would have reaped remarkably accurate astronomical observations, also doubling up its use as a temple and administration block. The vertebrae, like structures have been called the Thirteen Towers. These are what the ancient astronomers used as an artificial horizon. By determining the sun's position, the civilization could accurately predict upcoming solstices and equinoxes, and determine the date with a precision of one to two days. BBC Science Focus magazine noted, it's thought that this knowledge would help them plan seasonal harvests, as well as hold religious events. Brian Cox visited Charcolo during his docu-series, Wonders of the Universe. In a clip from the show titled, Mind, Blowing Ancient Solar Calendar, he wandered across the ancient timekeeping piece and noted how the fortified temple's walls, were once painted a brilliant white, covered with painted figures. Mr. Cox explained that all but the smallest fragments of the decorations are gone, leaving researchers in the present day almost clueless about who made up this ancient civilization. For decades, researchers were equally clueless about Chankilo's purpose. It wasn't until 2007 that a study published in the journal Science proposed that the sequence of towers marked the summer and winter solstices and that Chankilo was in part a solar observatory. Peruvian archaeologist Ivan Gezi, who co-authored the study with British colleague, Clive Ruggles, told AFP the towers were erected with great precision, and were placed to mark different positions of the sun and therefore mark exact dates. The structure essentially works like a giant clock, marking the passage of time over the span of a year. In September, the sun would rise somewhere between the fifth and sixth towers. By December 21st, it creeps up between the last of the towers at daybreak. Mr. Gezi said, Chankillo is a masterpiece of ancient Peruvians a masterpiece of architecture, a masterpiece of technology and astronomy. It is the cradle of astronomy in America. And as it was also likely a place of sun worship, the sites to the east and west of the towers feature the remains of objects used for ritual sacrifices. The observatory and its ceremonial appendages were protected by fortress walls made of stone, mud and tree trunks, a site spanning an astonishing 5,000 hectares. Yet just 1% of it is believed to have been studied. When the coronavirus pandemic struck, excavations at ancient sites in Peru were abandoned, leading to many raids by black market traders. While Shankilo was left untouched, nearby farmers expanded their pasture lands on the site's border. It is hoped that the UNESCO World Heritage status will help to protect it from threats in the future, while helping to sustain those struggling farmers.